guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I have my crystal collection to show you guys. Basically I did do a video that was like my witchy books that I have so now I thought I'd show you my crystal collection. I have so much here and I have had like I just found this love for crystals and the healing properties of them um, and all that kind of stuff. I go to the metaphysical stores all the time. Um, I will look them up where they are near me and stop in. <laughs> I just have a huge fascination and kind of a little addiction with this kind of stuff. So I thought I'd show you guys all the stuff that I have. Um, I have a lot here, so it's just kind of showing you guys what I have. Where to get crystals, you can check out your local metaphysical stores. There's some online shops, you could check out Etsy, um, stuff like that if you're looking for those. I haven't been collecting crystals for very long, like probably like three months or four months, but the collection has just grown. It's like one of the things I ask for now as gifts is crystals or I get people as gifts I will get them a crystal um but let's start off with the bigger stones that I have so first I have this chunk of calcite which I got from home sense actually but this is just a huge chunk of calcite I love the color and it's just like a light baby blue and it feels like so nice and smooth and I just love this one because I have a piece of selenite and it's made into like a little tower um this one's super adorable and this I got from HomeSense as well, but it's just like a perfect little size and selenite's really pretty as well if you look at it in the light. Next I have a quartz geoid, so when you look inside it, it has a bunch of cool shapes and it's like so cool. I love this one so much. And then I also have this piece, I forget what this is, I'll put it on the screen, but I use this as like a bookend and it's just gorgeous. The colors, the it's all it's so pretty, it's all crystallized and it's so nice. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with that one. I do have some bracelets so I have this lava rock and quartz bracelet that I have and like the little lava rock is like in a little heart chain and it's the cutest little thing. So have amethyst and hematite and it has a little pentagram on the end. So have uh, serpentine and black onyx. Some rune stones as well. I have my little pack of rune stones and these ones are the serpent one as well. The serpent Tine, is that how you say it? I'm not positive, but I have a little um, set of runestones of those. Keep all the little cards and like places I go in this little pouch. So I have like all of the little note cards and the meanings for all of the stones. So like citrine, um, jet, some things I can't even pronounce, howlite. So I have those in this little guy. I have two dishes but I also have just some like randomly lying on my shelf so I have this nice green stone um this one's so pretty I have this is one of my favorite stones it's called opalite I have another one it's in one of my purses somewhere but I love opalite it's probably one of my favorite stones it's like a glass one and it just reflects beautifully um I find it very calming I usually keep one with me then I have this orange little egg again I'll try to find out what some of these are for you guys because like I don't I didn't keep the little names with them so like and I have so many now that it's hard to keep track um this one I believe is lithium quartz and this one is really cool it's like a really raw piece there's a lot of like marks on it and markings on it um I believe this is with like the peacock one that is talked about a lot but this one just has like a rainbow kind of effect on it I own this piece piece of um cat's eye stone and this one's beautiful and it transitions colors and it's so pretty when I uh, this is another stone I really love. A piece of selenite, another opalite, and a little ball. Um, this is like, I don't even remember the name of this, um, but this is like a light pinky kind of stone. I also have hematite and like that reflective kind of one. Um, I have a little pink ball, um, smoky quartz, citrine, I believe this is fluorite. Um, another like light pinky stone. Then I also have this animal stone and this one's really pretty as well. I'll show you guys close-ups anyways, but it's so pretty and has a little bear on it. Relating to animals, I also have three little animal kind of little figurines things. So I have, I'm not sure what these are made out of, but I have a little squirrel, a little cat, and a little owl. 
next I have this little piece of citrine, this raw piece. Um, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, I got this one day when I was out with um, some friends, so it just kind of reminds me of that day as well. Got three little jars, so I got one little rose quartz, um, a little jar of amethyst, and a little jar of regular quartz. Now going on to the dishes that I have. I have this one dish. I don't know where I got these. My mom just kind of gave them to me, and they're all like antiques, I think. I don't know. Um, but I have this little piece, this little blue stone, very nice in the light. Um, I have a little piece of quartz, um, rose quartz. Another piece of rose quartz, that's, uh, this is beautiful, I love this. This is cat's eye, but like look at it when you, I'm obsessed with it. Um, yeah, I have this cat's eye stone. This one, I forget what it's called, go me. Tiger's eye, another rose quartz. Um, I have this marbleish looking one, citrine, smoky quartz, jet. I think this is emerald or floor emerald. Probably wrong. Um, I also have this piece. I believe it's fluorite, and then I have a piece of pyrite, which looks like little gold, and it's so cute. Then so going on to this dish, <laughs> we got another dish. Um, this one has a lot of stones that I love in it. Um, first up is probably one of my favorites that I have. It's this skull stone that is rose quartz. I love the shape of it so much and I think it looks gorgeous. Um, I got that again out with um, people so it reminds me of like friendship and like all those kinds of things as well. Um, it's also like rose quartz means a lot of like love and romance and stuff like that so that's always cool. Um, this is I forget what this is called, but this one's really good for like keeping near you for sleep and stuff like that. And I also have this stone. I have no idea what this is. There's a few stones in here that I totally forget what they are, but they're still gorgeous. I have a few pieces of just regular quartz that I have in here. So we have like five of them and they're just little pieces of quartz. Do do do. Um, so I have those. Then I have some desert rose. So I, this is such a cool stone. I love it. So I have one big, like one medium, like one small one, but then I have like three little baby ones. Um, and then I'll just go through these stones. I'm not exactly sure what some of these are. Um, obviously this one's rose quartz. I have a nice chunk, a little chunk of that. Um, we have this black stone. I think that's obsidian. Um, and then for amethyst, I have this amethyst this amethyst and this amethyst and then the rest are kind of just like miscellaneous stones so I will show you guys those but they're just a bunch of different ones that I have. Next I have this little um, sliced piece of crystal and I have this on one of my nightstands and on top of it I keep some stones that I use for like tarot readings and also for just like near my bedside or cleansing purposes. Um, I have two quartz that are absolutely, oh god I hair with that one, that's cute. Um, two quartz that are absolutely stunning, I love these. I have a Dalmatian stone which is really good for sleep and for nightmares and it reminds me of my boyfriend so I keep that one next to my bedside as well. Um, then I have this chunk of amethyst that I got from Winners. I freaking love it so much. It's probably one of my favorite stones I have. I would love if it would focus but it won't but it's such a stunning stone and then I also have another little piece of amethyst. That was my crystal collection. I know it's a lot especially for someone who's like kind of just starting collecting but yeah um if you guys are interested in more videos like this let me know down below. Um I will link some other people's crystal collections that I freaking love watching um just in case you want to watch more videos like this and you haven't really gotten into crystals or anything like that. Um but yes if you're new here be sure to subscribe and click the bell because sometimes YouTube likes to not put your videos like the, your videos in your subscription boxes which is lovely um so make sure to click the bell to be notified <laughs> i hate myself it's fine um anyways i'll see you guys all super super soon with a new video and thank you so much for watching bye She likes my hair.